The Red Mile, my favorite episode of The Mentalist. Or so I thought. Hey everyone, my name is Americ from TV Equals and welcome to a brand new Mentalist Summer Review, a series in which I review older episodes of The Mentalist so we can spend the summer together. In today's episode, I'm reviewing The Red Mile Season 3, Episode 18, which is my favorite episode of The Mentalist, or so I thought. Yeah, we'll get to that in a bit. So before I get into what worked and what didn't work in this episode, let's talk about the story. In Red Mile, the team finds a body, and the body is stolen. Turns out, the body being stolen has nothing to do with the murder. It turns out the guy was killed by his mother-in-law because he believed in aliens, and she didn't believe in aliens, and she wanted to kill him so that he would not embarrass them, and turns out the body being stolen was something completely different that had nothing to do with all that. In parallel, Dr. Steiner, who's a CBI ME, tags along with the team, and we find out towards the end that he was sick and he wanted Patrick to be there when he took his own life. Anyways, what worked in this episode? This is a very interesting one because what worked in this episode are really just moments and not so much big parts of the story, which I will address in what didn't work. The first moment that stuck with me was when Lisbon was denying up and down the hill, no, we would never take a body, and then looks at Jane like, we didn't take it, right? <laughs> I love how she had that moment of doubt. <laughs> she was like, would he, <laughs> would he take a body? <laughs> you never know, it's Jane. Still on Jane, Jane being super excited to say, THE BUTLER DID IT! <laughs> he always wanted to do that. That was a fun moment. It was just a, a lighter moment in the episode. The other moment I really enjoyed was when Steiner and Jane were having that conversation in the library when Steiner is like, you know, right? And Jane was like, yeah, I kind of know. And I like the fact that Jane was being generous and kind and helpful. It was a good side of Jane. I like that. I like that a lot. I also like the Jisbin banter in this episode. It would have been nice to have Lisbon brought into the secret, so to speak, of what Jane was doing with Steiner. But I also like that Jane was all like, yeah, I'm just, I just want him to tag along. What? What? Can I not be nice? Can I not be open-minded? I like the whole banter between those two. That was pretty cool. Also, it's good to see Cho having a good moment because apparently he may or may not have been abducted by aliens, according to that guy. And Cho denying it and Lisbon sort of teasing him about it. That was pretty fun. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be interesting if Cho had actually been abducted by aliens? That would explain why he's all like... Of course, the best moment of the episode is definitely the final scene between Steiner and Jane. When Jane is accompanying Steiner in his last moments, it was just heartbreaking. Definitely one of my favorite scenes in the episode, my favorite scene in TV in general. I will actually go on YouTube and watch that scene again because it just moves me and I, I loved it. I loved it so much. It was just a fantastic performance, fantastic moment. Well written, well lit, well shot, everything perfect about it. It's just so heartbreaking every time. I choke up every time I watch it. Now on to what didn't work. Well, like I said at the beginning of this, up until very recently, this was my favorite episode of The Mentalist. But after re-watching it, it's not so much my favorite episode of The Mentalist, it's the episode of The Mentalist with my favorite moment in it but not so much a favorite episode per se, because there's quite a few things that didn't work. Let's talk about the guys taking the body. It was just such a weird story. It had nothing to do with the murder per se. It was sort of added there to justify the Emmy sort of being injected in the story. But I feel there were other ways of bringing Steiner into this without having this whole convoluted things of these two guys randomly stealing bodies from crime scenes. I feel like there are enough bodies out there not to have to steal them from crime scenes. And those guys were kind of ridiculous. Which brings me to the shootout. The moment of the shootout just felt like an unnecessary scene overall. Yeah, it kind of showed all Laughlin being a little bit weird and not so much having Grace's back, but I still didn't feel it was a necessary scene overall. I mean, if you really think about it, if you just justified having Steiner coming into the scene, into the episode without the whole 
taking the body away and the shootout scene, the episode would have been just fine. I just felt these were unnecessary additions to the story and kind of took me out of it. It's like, yeah, this is kind of stupid. Why do we even have this? So overall, did I like this episode? <laughs> I did not. I mean, I didn't hate it. I clearly liked a lot of the stuff from it. One of my favorite moments on TV is in there. But the fact that those unnecessary plot lines were added to them kind of took away my enjoyment of the episode. So this was kind of weird for me watching this all over again and twist, I don't like this episode as much as I thought I did. It brings up so many questions. What, what do I like in life? Is this real life? Anyways, that's what I thought of the episode. What did you think of the episode? Comment below, let me know. What was your favorite moment of the episode? What did you think of the episode in general? And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more of me and all of the great reviews we have on this channel, make sure to subscribe to this channel or visit us on tvequals.com where we have all great content on all manners of shows. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye. So what am I going to review next week? Fugue in Red, season four, episode 10. Should be pretty interesting.